It's been a hard week for the US dollar and joining me is the FX freak Ken. Ken, the US dollar has been under some intense pressure recently, but what other currencies could benefit from this pressure on the greenback? Yeah, so the dollar's really been slammed across the board this week, actually, and really losing some ground to some of its peers. Um, the reason what triggered this, in my opinion, was we did see inflation data out of the US earlier in the week, which did actually creep up higher, which is good. But the thing that really let the dollar down and where we actually started seeing the selling um, as markets digested the data was what was a company with the inflation uh, was the retail sales data. Now this was showing a contraction, so a negative number. So consumer spending is essentially in the contractory territory, which isn't good. So it makes investors think, why is uh, it's consumed, why are people not spending, basically, uh, in a nutshell? Why are they not spending their money? Is it because the affordability isn't there? So with that being um, at the forefront of investors' minds, the Federal Reserve is surely thinking about this as well, right? Why are consumers not spending money? This puts doubts and could slow them down in terms of their path of wanting to continue and tighten policy. Um, so essentially, um, that has been weighing on the dollar and we've seen the likes of sterling benefiting from this. We've seen cable um, reclaiming 141. So on the move north, looking for 150, I still am personally. Euro against dollar, we've reclaimed 125. So some incredible moves and I'm personally still eyeing 130. And if we look at dollar yen, um, yen really benefiting as well and we're seeing around the 105 region so some big weakness for the dollar against its peers. So how did the IMF warning on the UK's economic productivity affect the pound dollar? To be honest I think the IMF are just nitpicking at anything you know um, the UK is on a stable path to recovery. We're seeing that and that is firming, it's evident. Um, if, we, if I look at firstly the manufacturing sector, you know, we've seen recent data showing it's still in growth territory as a whole, outputs at 10 year highs. In terms of our new order book, um, so we're not really a manufacturing um, led nation, we're more services, but our order book is the highest since 1988. Some real encouraging signs there uh, for certain sectors within the UK. If we look at services, it is still in growth territory, although last month we did see it fall to its lowest levels um, in 16 months but things in general are on the right direction or heading in the right way you know we, we mentioned previously Theresa May when her efforts um, to put trade deals in place um, we've seen those um, you know deal with China they're working with Canada and the US so look, IMF give the UK a chance stop nitpicking they're on the way and heading in the right direction and we can see that in reflection in the FX market with the pound really gaining some strength across the board and particularly against its cousins across the Atlantic the US dollar and um, so I still think some good things to come for the UK the Japanese yen has been gaining strength recently what's the story here Yes, so we are seeing some incredible Japanese yen strength across the board. Now, what it is, is simply monetary policy shifting. You know, back in December, we did see the Bank of Japan trimming uh, some of their bond purchases. But when they noticed that the yen was really starting to gather some pace in terms of strength, uh, towards the back end of last year and early this year, they quickly came out and saying, oh no, we're still committed to, you know, stimulus purchases uh, across the board, excessive easing. Um, but investors are starting to read between the lines because data is improving in Japan. The economic picture is picking up. You know, we're seeing the likes of inflation. There's signs of inflation rising across the board. So people are, investors are reading between those lines and they're, they're starting to think, look, we are seeing other economies shifting in terms of monetary policy. The ECB, the Federal Reserve, the Bank of England, the Bank of Canada. It's a global theme in terms of changing of policy and moving down a line of withdrawing stimulus and tightening up and raising rates. So that is the theme. And anyway, that is what is driving uh, the Japanese yen um, in, in its strength across the board there. Well, that was Ken, the FX freak. Don't forget to follow him on Instagram. And thank you for clicking back for this weekly wrap-up. Goodbye for now.